Welcome. So thanks for watching. This is All Things Haunted. We're here at a really nicely done yard haunt here in Yorba Linda, California. Uh, it doesn't have a name, uh, but the creator is, uh, has been associated with Sinister Point out in Brea. Uh, one of the co-creators of, or one of the creators or, or actors or Imagineers, if you were, of Sinister Point. Uh, this is his home haunt uh, in Brea. It's in a gated community, so I don't really have an address, but I wanted to share this with you on one of our stops of our Save Halloween tour. Uh, there, you, This is a, a really nice use of an overlay, of an animated overlay. I've seen it before, but uh, this is actually pretty elaborate. The story actually starts in the, the garage driveway and it continues over to the, uh, the, the blow up on the other side of the yard. Uh, you can see that snake actually climbing through the yard. Uh, I actually, I'm in Yorba Linda, California. I don't actually have an address. It's in a gated community. Uh, but we're invited here uh, from one of the uh, co-creators of Sinister Point. Or not a co-creator, actually, but uh, he works uh, for Sinister Point. He's done a lot of the... Uh, the Um, are they doing the Halloween parade in Anaheim? That's that would be a, that would have been today, I think. It's always the Saturday before Halloween, and I don't think they were doing it this year. This year really has, uh, a lot of people have really stepped it up on their yard haunts. I know in the, in the past it seems like the yard haunts have gotten kind of a, uh, kind of been put aside for haunts and, and uh, pro haunts like Knott's, not Scary Farm. But it looks like everybody, because of COVID, we couldn't really do the mazes. Uh, they went ahead and they stepped up with these yard haunts and some are very elaborate and I personally think that maybe a lot of these things are already happening but as a result um, now they're getting more attention because uh, because of the COVID and I, I do believe it's Sabor hey how's it going this is a good friend Sabor it's Sabor or Sabo Sabor I got it right the first time yeah this is I'm with all things haunted uh, my my wife uh, was a uh, uh, is a friend of your your wife. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you were with with Sinister Point yeah. for a while, right? Yeah, for, for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, can we get a quick interview with you? Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where? What do you? <laughs> you want? Yeah, probably right. Do it right here. Yeah. Let's let's do it a little further back. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're keeping yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Well, the mic will reach this far. Okay. So. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just ask a couple of questions, things that you already know the answers to. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on out. We're we're running live. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to the uh, the creator of all this. Wow, that's great. That's great. We've been there in the past, the Halloween parade in Anaheim. Uh, didn't go this year. Okay. All right. So just really quick, I'm going to, well, I'll just stand next to you because again, you're all shadowed out. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So we'll just go ahead and watch the, the movie. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, what, what is your name? Sabor. My name is Sabor Mirzodi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, you were involved with Sinister Point uh, in what capacity? Uh, well, I was the chainsaw guy at the end, <laughs> and I also helped do a lot of the effects at Sinister Point, and Jeff Shelfabine and I have been friends ever since we were kids, so like 16, something like that, so. That's, yeah. that's awesome. So this overlay, I've seen it before, but this is, the, in my opinion, the most elaborate that I've, I've seen. Now, is this something you, uh, was it out of a box? Did you produce it? So a lot of the stuff is Atmos effects uh, that I integrated, but like you'll see, like this is the sandworm from Beetlejuice that you're going to see in a second. Uh, I actually created that from scratch. Uh, you'll see it. Well, actually, you're going to see the eyeballs first. So I created the eyeballs from scratch. Um, the eyes on the top, those were Atmos. Atmos effects, and then the, the garage eyeballs were, were done by me. Um, and then after this is done, you're going to see the sandworm from Beetlejuice. Right. Which you're gonna see right now. So this one I created from scratch using Cinema 4D Substance Painter. I modeled it, textured it, um, animated it. And then you'll see him swallow his little head. And then I also have it going along the side of the house as well. But, right. uh, but yeah, that's the main focal point. Right. And then this is uh, the whole mansion scene I built as well. And there's like a, a picture of my wife and I right here. In that picture frame, my son, who you just saw, and my daughter right there, and then I grabbed all the um, I grabbed all the Atmos effects, like the the dancing girl, and some of the spirits on the top, with the chandelier I made myself. Um, I found that the background that they used was a little too dark, plus it wasn't personal enough. So I figured uh, this would, this would give me an excuse to kind of build out a, a completely fresh mansion. Absolutely amazing. So this is what's great about that, even though it's an overlay and you can shut it off at night, it looks normal in the day. The effort that you put into it is really, really makes it personal. I appreciate that, I appreciate oh, I, that. Yeah, it, it's, I, I've, I've worked pretty hard on it. Yeah, it was, it was uh, you know, in between other, other you know, my real jobs. And <laughs> I've been trying to like work on things here and there. And then, uh, yeah, so it's using two projectors. I have, um, I have the, the pumpkins all mapped on the, the jack-o'-lanterns over there. I have corresponding effects on the right side of the house. And then uh, on Friday, Hollow's Eve, I will be doing a show. Um, really? And it'll be like uh, a couple dance numbers. So I'll do, um, I'll do uh, probably the Thriller dance from Atmos, but I'm gonna like theme the rest of the house with it. And then um, I'll do, uh, uh, I'm gonna try to do a Nightmare Before Christmas one, and I'm gonna do a Beetlejuice theme one. Awesome. And I noticed it actually translates from the garage video to the snake that's over there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I always have the snake going from left to right, so it always ends up in the practical form. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just kind of, kind of a fun, fun little, uh, and you'll see the worm again right here, and he rips through the garage, and you can actually see the background from the movie, the, the actual worm. And then this one's always fun because I actually use the perspective of the garage yes. to make it feel like it's all 3D. Um, and then you have the worm sliding through. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that actually looks like it's coming out of the garage. Yeah, it's it's in here. I'll stand I'll stand here for scale. Oh uh, yeah. Get an idea. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. No, it's great. I think you did a good so it's just a wonderful job. I re we've always really, really been impressed with Sinister Point and all the effects that have been done there. Well thank you. Thank you very much. It's that's a team effort for sure. I mean it's yeah. all of us just having fun doing it and 
and uh, yeah, and I, and I gotta, I gotta give a, an awesome shout out to Atmos Effects because they do really create some amazing stuff. Yeah. And a lot of their stuff I was able to use as elements for my overall vision. Right. So it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for them to have something that kind of scratches the itch for us. So uh, shout out to those guys and the animators there and the texture artists and the creative minds there. You know, they're, they're very talented and. And I, I appreciate the work that they put into this stuff because it, it makes it to where I can, I can use their elements to to bring my house to life, and then, and then just go that little extra to make it custom for myself. Now, what what uh, what do you do for a living? Is this your your is this your profession? Special uh, effects? Yeah, I actually have a production company. I do visual effects, motion graphics. I, I do I do visual effects for the film industry and uh, filming, uh, uh, content creation. Um, I also do a lot of uh, I do marketing for a company called NVIDIA. Uh, but yeah, so it's 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 a it's whole, whole gamut. But yeah, anything anything to do with visual storytelling, I'm all about it. Now, when, tell me, you have to let me know, where was this inspiration as a child? Who influenced your parents? Uh, a movie you saw, a nightmare? No, you know, to be honest, uh, my dad always pushed creativity, and my mom always... Uh, encouraged it as well so both my parents always encouraged the creativity and uh, and I think my dad always showed us uh, uh, you know I think I watched Beetlejuice when it first came out and I was probably like four or something like that and probably wasn't appropriate but I loved it and I, and I, I played Beetlejuice for the first time for my daughter uh, in the beginning of October and she can't get enough of it now she watches the cartoons oh awesome. yeah so That's it's awesome. yeah it's awesome. fun awesome. it's fun I think it's wonderful. Yeah, because it seems like everybody who's in this industry or is a lover of Halloween was inspired by somebody or something. Yeah, I mean, Tim Burton, for sure. Like, oh, I, I take a lot of uh, inspiration from Tim Burton as far as his aesthetics and all that stuff. And, and then Danny Elfman's music is just, it, it, like, when I'm ever creating, I, I put on Danny Elfman's music. And, in fact, during Halloween, I have Danny Elfman's music, like, all the soundtracks playing as an atmosphere. Uh, as well as the visuals. Now this year, you know, yeah. since we can't do trick or treating, right. that's why I'm doing a little bit of a Friday thing. So, right, 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 uh, right, right. Just for, just for, you know, just whoever can come right. up and say, you know, just hang out for a second. All right. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you talking with us, and we're gonna hang out. If it's okay, and, and oh, take some more pictures. Yeah, All right. Get videos, get pictures, anything you guys want, and, uh, and then later I'll even share my little like uh, I made a one minute video that I posted on um, uh, Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. We'll, we'll be able to follow you and just tweet that back out. Yeah. All right. All right, so again, we're here in Yorba Linda, and uh, we're at a uh, undisclosed location because it's in a gated community. I don't want to give out the address, but uh, so, but it's just a wonderful thing. This is an exclusive. None of the other guys are going to be able to come out and get this. So uh, we're really fortunate and very much appreciative to be able to see this. So thank you so much for we're talking with us. And, and next year, Sinister Point, It'll come back bigger and stronger, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And we'll, we'll be there to, to support you and, and do whatever we can for you to, to get the word out. I appreciate that. All right. All right. So, again, you're watching All Things Haunted, and we're live here uh, a week before Halloween. Hey, guys. Happy Halloween. Oh, happy Halloween to you. What's your website again? It's uh, All Things Haunted. All right, so again, this is All Things Haunted. We're here in your Belinda at a disclosed location, and we're here on our Save Halloween Tour. 